It's basically checking the quality of, of seed. Um, it's checking the purity to make sure um, the quality of the actual seed is good. It's checking for any weed seeds that might come in after harvest, any other kind of crops or um, any other crop seed that would come in with the harvest, um, any broken seed or what we consider chaff, like any garbage, um, uh, inert matter, or, um, stem pieces or leaf pieces. It's just kind of making sure um, what we sell the customer is good quality seed. When we take samples, um, the sample is representative of the field, or of the seed lot, right? And, and so we receive the sample here, and it, it's, it'll be a pound or two, and that's supposed to represent the 55,000 pounds. In this room, we're going to divide it down to smaller and smaller portions that need to be equal. And the, the amount in each proportion is on this, is on this uh, chart here and it's based on species and which set of rules we have to follow. So if, if, this is, if this is a normal domestic sample, then we follow those AOSA bulk and purity weights and we will weigh those out. If it's going to Canada, we have to follow the Canadian rules and so the weights could differ slightly, different weight. So we always check the charts to make sure that we're following the weights that are prescribed in the rules for the country or area where that seed is going to be sold. So when we get every sample in, we want to make sure that we homogenize the sample um, and that we get a representative portion out of it that is uniform um, so that we make sure that we aren't being biased when we are doing the examinations. Um, it's really important that we have a homogenous sample and one that is statistically representative of what has been sent into us. Um, otherwise, we could be reporting false percentages. Um, and so it's important that we keep all of our procedures standardized and that we do the same thing every time. Otherwise, we are fluctuating what we're doing and it's not as accurate as we would like to. The samples come sealed um, so that we know that they haven't been tampered with or anything. So this is where we break the seal. Um, and I'm gonna homogenize the sample before I weigh out any of the portions that we take out of it. Just to make sure that we're getting a representative portion uh, of the seed that was sent in. And what the divider does is it basically takes all the seed and it spins um, and dumps it evenly into the two cups that are on either side. Well, if you have good seed, good quality seed, it's going to make, it's going to produce a lot. And with um, uh, urban development, um, it's, you're taking away crops, crop land. And so with less and less land to grow food or crops on, farmers need to be wiser on, on getting better quality seed. And so we have better quality food and that we have enough food to supply the people. And so um, I think our job is just kind of a basic one in making sure that, yes, the farmer is getting good stuff. What they're gonna grow is gonna produce what they need.